If you're excited to start working with Brizzy, but you're kind of holding back because of one key feature, the ability to create and integrate pop-ups into your design, then maybe now is a good time to jump on that bandwagon and take another look at Brizzy. My name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every single time we upload new content. Now, if you'd like a chance to win a lifetime copy of Brizzy Pro, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you some information on how you can do that. Now, before we take a look at the pop-ups inside Brizzy, worth bearing in mind that this is still a beta feature. So if you already have an account with Brizzy, you can download these beta versions and try them out for yourself. However, they are still in beta, so there still may be issues, little problems, or just some quirks that may pop up when you're working and testing these out. As always, please do not use these on a live environment. Test them out, see if you like it, and then when they come out and they're released, then start using them. Okay, so we've created a simple page inside Brizzy. We've used one of their templates, and we're going to take a look at one of the two ways that we can start to invoke the various different pop-up options. And also, we can take a look at the library of great-looking pre-designed layouts that we can use for our pop-ups. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a link from a button. After that, we'll take a look at how we can do it directly on the page with a set of different triggers. So what we need to do is find an element on our page. We're going to use this button, we're going to click on it, we're going to click on the link icon. When we click on that, that'll open up our little pop-up window, pardon the pun, and you can see we now have a new entry called pop-up. As always, everything with Brizzy and Brizzy Pro is incredibly simple and streamlined. So all we need to do is come down, click on this plus, and that'll take us then into the predefined blocks, which are basically the layouts for our pop-up. And as always, you can see we have some great looking designs to start off with. But with all of these, you are completely free to either start and create your own or use these templates as a starting point and then edit them using the Brizzy editor to your heart's content to get exactly what you want. We're going to keep this really, really simple. And we're just going to choose one of these pre-designed layouts. So let's pick this subscribe to our newsletter. We're going to click on that. That will then add this into the pop-up window. So you can see now we have a little preview of our pop-up. And all we need to do to start working with this pop-up is simply click. And we can now edit this in any way that we want. So we've got the normal editor of Brizzy or Brizzy Pro for using that. So you can fine tune and tweak this and do whatever you want to do with it. We also have some options we can work with. If we click on the little fly out in the top right hand corner, we can come over and do things like click on this pop up option. And we now have just some simple options we can work with. Do we want to allow the page behind to be scrollable? Do you want to make this global? And also, how do we want to style the close button? At the moment, you can't see my close button because it's hidden behind. But you can see, depending upon the design, this may be in a different position. What we can do is we can come into this come to the close button and we can say we want this on the inside or the outside or do we want to display the close button at all so we can also set a delay on there as well so how long it'll last before the display close button will actually appear so you can set whatever you want on there but as you can see it's very very simple and straightforward we click on update that will update it and that will then become evident on the front end of the site so let's take a look at that let's update this page and let's preview it in our browser so here's our page, and if we scroll down to our button and click on Find Out More, there's our pop-up with any animations and any effects we've applied to it. And as you can see, there's our close button, so we can click and close that down. So it's all incredibly simple and straightforward. Now next up, let's take a look at how we can start to use this with a little bit more finesse, where we can do things like set up the condition for when the pop-up will appear and some various other different things. So we'll hop back into our dashboard, so we'll just close the editor out and go back to our dashboard. And if we take a look on the left-hand side, we've got the Brizzy menu. And as you can see, we've got a new entry now called pop-ups. If we click inside there, that'll open up where we can create our first pop-up. So let's go and click add new, and we'll just call this test pop-up. We'll publish that and then we'll edit it with Brizzy. And that will take us through then to the normal Brizzy editor where we can click to start creating our pop-up. We can create a blank one, or again, we can create one or take one as a basis from any of these predefined layouts. Let's choose this one of a watch, which is a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna click on that. You can see we now have a really good looking pop-up created for us. Now, what we can do is we can come in and we can set the various different parameters for this. Come to our little fly out in the top right-hand corner. Again, we've got that option for the pop-up, but now we have display conditions. So we can click on there and that will open up any of the display conditions that are associated with this particular pop-up. So we've got the triggers and we've got conditions. 
So you can see we can come into triggers to start off with and we've got a range of different trigger options. We've got on click, after inactivity, all the normal kind of things you'd expect to see. So let's just say after inactivity, we'll change that to five seconds. If we wanna add additional triggers, we can do that. We can pop over to the conditions as well and we can take a look at any conditions on there. So at the moment it says include on all the pages. What we can do if we want to, we can come in and we can choose all pages, specific pages, specific posts and so on, categories, tags, whatever you want. So let's come to the pages. And as you can see now, it opens up the option to choose what page or pages do you want to associate this with. Click, we'll just choose home page, so it's only going to apply to our home page. You can if you want to include or exclude so you can use any of those conditions to make sure that you get exactly what you want in the easiest possible fashion you can also go in and create additional conditions so you may want to apply this to the home page or maybe the contact page where you can set those up inside here we can also then go and get rid of anything we create so if we created a new condition and we say we want this on all posts we could just click on the little trash icon and that will then get rid of it so now if we hit save We've created our trigger and we've created our condition. So if we take a look at our home page, we should now find that after five seconds, this new pop-up will appear. So here's our home page, and as you can see, after that period of waiting, we now get our pop-up appear. So it's very, very easy to set these up using either triggers or link in the through to buttons all inside the Brizzy editor. And that's how easy it is to start using these custom pop-ups inside Brizzy and Brizzy Pro. Like I say, this is still a beta version, so bear with it while we kind of iron out any of the bugs that may be in there. But hopefully this will be released very soon, and then we can all start using this inside our designs. Now at the top of the video, I said there's an opportunity to win your own lifetime copy of Brizzy Pro. Well, all you need to do is head over to the WP Tuts website and go to wptuts.co.uk forward slash subscribe. Fill out your first name, drop in your email address, and you'll automatically be entered into our monthly giveaway. This month, it's Brizzy Pro, but next month, it's going to be another great product or service, and you simply need to be subscribed to our weekly newsletter to be in with a chance of winning this giveaway. Well, as always, all the applicable links for this are in the description below, and if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on the way that Brizzy works, the way this has been integrated into it, or anything else you want to talk about Brizzy, drop those comments in the comment section below. I'd love to get the conversation started and see exactly what you guys think. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.